Hello, in this chapter, we are going to talk about signals in Simulink. Up to here, we have looked at libraries, modeling, and the concept of model in the Simulink. And then we worked on blocks, but in this chapter, we are going to talk about signals. Now, we have worked with signals in previous chapter, but not deeply. In this chapter, we're going to talk about signals in Simulink, dimensions of signals, because signals are not one-dimensional. A signal can be a cluster of data. Also, we will work with blocks associated with signals, then changing some of signals, features, types of signals, because we don't have just one type of signal, but there are different types of signals which cannot connect to other signals easily. Then recalling signals. The last part is recalling signals. To understand the concept of signal in Simulink, we should know that the outputs of blocks are a signal. For example, the bus selector output can be defined as signal or input output of gain so we consider the inputs and outputs of these blocks in the simulink as a signal these signals do not have physical feature but they are logical variables which we use them in the simulink also if we get a signal from constant the signal can be recalled and used in any part of simulation in any part of the simulation also here there won't be any delay the signal transfer to other part at the time when the simulink starts.